So what we're gonna explain here is recursive workflows within Bubble. So what we have here is we return, we, we run a service script action, which actually returns a two lists. So it has output list one, which is a text, a list of texts, and output list two, which is a list of numbers. And what you can see here, we've just tested this to make sure it's working, but what you can see here is the list of x this list of text is passed to the field uh, exercise for the create exercise performed workflow and then the reps which is a list of numbers is passed in under the uh, the reps field now what we want to do is set up a recursive workflow where we loop through each item of the two respective lists now we know from the service script that the lists are the exact same size because of this specific way we set up this javascript so you don't need to worry about why that is, but essentially we know these two lists are the same size or this won't work. Now what we do is we specify the count as one. And what you can see here is we take a count field as a number. And then what we do is we loop through this. So the first time it runs, it will have a count of one. And we, we specify for each item in the list, we want to get that first item because this is a first loop or the item number count. And we do that for each step here. Then when we get to the schedule, we reschedule it, we then want to loop through the next item in the list. So we add count plus one. Now, what we don't want to do here is what set up what's called a, an infinite loop where this keeps adding one to the count and never stops. And what that's going to do is actually blow your workflow units through the roof and you'll pay a lot in server usage because this loop will run forever and ever and never stop. So what we wanna do is make sure that if the count is, we only wanna schedule that next loop if one exists, or the count is less than the list size or the exercise, the list of texts count. So what this will do is make sure that once the count reaches the size of the list, it won't schedule this workflow to run again and it'll stop. So that's the purpose of that. 